Alrighty then, it is time for Shift Your Thinking Daily. <laughs> Happy Tuesday, beautiful souls, wherever you are on this phenomenal planet. You heard it. It is time for Shift Your Thinking Daily, where we transform our inner experience to a phenomenal outer experience for now. 10 minutes of our day, we do it together. All right, before we jump into today's message, let's take a couple of deep breaths, move the energy around, release any tension that we may have or we're carrying so that we can open up ourselves to receive today's powerful, and really special message. All right, follow me, breathe in and out. One more time, breathe in and out. Woo, how are you feeling? Say hi, say hello, drop a comment down below. If you're new to me, welcome. My name's Lisa Puerto, also known as Super Agent, on all your favorite social media platforms, including Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, at LA Super Agent, and check out my LinkedIn page too, if you're on the professional tip. Uh, what else? Make sure you turn on post notifications above, that way you don't miss any new episodes as I upload them. Check over here at the link tree, hit the link, lasuperagent.com. Check out what I'm creating. Join the fun at readysetrealestateclub.com. And we are continuing our series from Dean Del Sesto's Shift Your Thinking 200 Ways to Improve Our Lives. Today makes episode 132. You heard me, I almost said that 132nd. That's not, no, that's not even right. All right, 132, and I am going to call this episode Use Your Dome. <laughs> use Your Dome. I'm in the section where he says, use your head and don't let your mouth get ahead of your head. He says, our words will have more power when we exercise power over our words. Say that again. Our words will have more power when we exercise power over our words. Mm, sounds like uh, think before you speak. He says you won't find many books, TV shows, or seminars dedicated to the topic of verbal self-control. Drop down in the comments below, verbal self-control. We've discussed on past episodes, verbal vomit, verbal vomit this time we're discussing verbal self-control maybe he says that's because as humans we feel a sense of entitlement to say whatever it is we want to say regretfully at times mm, sticking your foot in your mouth maybe i should call it that he says verbal restraint is one of those character traits we wish we'd exercise oh about a million times by the time we hit 18 but for some, it continues over a lifetime. He says a strife time. Drop in the comments below, strife time. He says, I mean lifetime. Our months have this innate, our mouths have this innate capacity to get us into trouble quicker than an exhale, and yet the topic doesn't get much attention. He says they don't teach it in school where self-control gone bad is often dealt with in the form of reprimand or punishment with little time explaining the value of this elusive and uncommon trait. I remember all the good times. He says, with rare exception, everyone I've met in my life would like to be wiser, smarter, more attuned, and more relationships. Please take a moment and think about and type which one resonates with you that you'd like to focus on being more of. Is that wiser? Type in wiser. If you'd like to be more wiser in your life, would you like to be more smarter? Type in smarter. Would you like to be more attuned, connected? Type in attuned. 
Or if you'd like to be more effective, drop in effective. He says personal and or business. And that, that goes, and this is again, personal slash professional development. I am a professional. By the way, if you're new to me, my name is Lisa Puerto. I'm an international speaker, public educator, creator and founder of many cool things and stuff. All right, <laughs> had to get drop that in there. Uh, so both personal and professional. So think about that. Which one resonates the most with you? He says, restraining communication through more listening and watchfulness has the ability to improve these areas faster than an inhale. See, just a reminder, we started up the show with an exhale and inhale. And he says, if we just take the time to really be mindful, mindful before we be mouthful. Ooh, I like that. Mindful over mouth, mouthful. I'm a, so I'm going to rename it. I've already renamed it. <laughs> Renaming this cap, this episode, mindful over mouthful. He says, the insights, you see how that comes to me, you guys? Just, just comes. He says, the insights, intelligence, and value we attain from a bit of caution pay big in a world of verbosity and frivolous words. And let's face it, nobody has the patent on self-control. He says, except perhaps for the rare one in a billion monk sitting on a rug in the mountains. It's not a trait we typically master. He says, but as we work on self-control, drop in the comments down below, self-control, he says, which often shows up in the things we don't say, we will begin to see that the long-term value for, for far outweighs the desire to shoot off our math for a brief moment in any given situation. So... With that being said, let's take a moment. I invite you to be more mindful over being mouthful and practice verbal self-control. All right, that's my time. Short, sweet, and powerful. I love you, love you, love you. If you haven't heard it today, have a powerful and productive day. I'll see you tomorrow as we continue our series of Shift Your Thinking on my platform at LA Super Agent on the radio podcast, including Spotify, iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher, Anchor Breaker, and so forth. All right, bye.